This story starts in the 19th century, during the peak of the whaling industry. Ships from Nantucket and New Bedford roamed the globe, hunting sperm whales for their oil. It was a brutal, industrial-scale operation. The whalers were meticulous record keepers, their logbooks filled with coordinates, whale sightings, and kill counts have become an accidental scientific treasure trove. When modern researchers analyzed these logs, they uncovered a startling pattern. In the early days, whalers were incredibly successful. A lookout would spot a pod, boats would be lowered, and the hunt would begin. It was a reliable, if gruesome, business. But then, something changed. The success rate of harpoon strikes started to plummet. We're talking a drop of nearly 60% over just a few years. It wasn't because the whalers got worse at their jobs. It was because the whales got smarter. They started changing their tactics. Instead of swimming with the wind when pursued, which was their natural instinct, they began swimming upwind. This made it much harder for the slow, cumbersome sailing ships to follow. It was a complete reversal of their established behavior. And this new tactic didn't just appear in one pod. It spread across the entire North Pacific. How? The answer lies in whale culture. 